top 10 most amazing caves. Number 10, Ellison's Cave, United States. Ellison's Cave is a cave pit located on Pigeon Mountain in the Appalachian Plateaus of Northwest Georgia. It is the 12th deepest cave in the United States and features the deepest unobstructed underground pitch in the continental United States named Fantastic Pit. The cave is over 12 miles long and extends 1,063 feet vertically. There's been three recorded deaths in Ellison's Cave, all caused by hypothermia. You know repelling in an icy cold waterfall? Yeah, that'll do it. Number 9. Ice Cave, Russia. This incredible cave near the Motnovosky volcano Russia <coughs> ah, sorry. is the result of a volcanic fed hot springs running through ice to create an ice cave that has a very shallow roof allowing sunlight to pass through. This cave was discovered by accident in 2012 and is nearly 980 feet long. It is only accessible in summer as there is over 3 feet of snow that covers the region for the rest of the year. Number 8. Cave of the Swallows, Mexico The Cave of the Swallows is an open air cave pit in San Luis Potosi, Mexico. The mouth of the cave is 160 by 203 feet wide, further widening to a room approximately 994 feet by 442 feet wide. The floor of the cave is a 1,214 feet free fall drop from the top making it the largest known cave shaft in the world. Also, it's the second deepest pit in Mexico and perhaps the 11th deepest in the world. A skyscraper such as New York City's Chrysler building could easily fit inside. Number 7. Waitomo Glowworm Cave, New Zealand the Waitomo Glowworm Cave on the North Island of New Zealand is known for its spectacular glowworms. This species of glowworm is found exclusively in New Zealand and are the size of an average mosquito. If you are so keen to see the glowworms, you can join an organized boat tour that goes right underneath them. It is believed that the cave formed 30 million years ago and remains one of New Zealand's most beloved natural features. Number 6. Praia Nakhon Cave, Thailand Praia Nakhon Cave in Thailand is located 4 hours south of Bangkok. It's a fairly accessible cave to the public as it is only a 30 minute sweaty hike to reach the cave. King Chula Longkorn built the Kuha Karuhas Pavilion inside the cave in 1890 when he fell in love with the beauty of the cave during his visit. If you want, there is a boat that will drop you off in some murky water at the entrance of the cave for only 300 baht. That's only operational when weather is good. Number 5. Antelope Canyon, United States Antelope Canyon is primarily a water eroded rock canyon located in the city of Page in the northern part of the state of Arizona. Antelope Canyon is known for its smooth wavy walls of sandstone caused mainly by flash flooding and rain. Flash flooding in Antelope Canyon is still common causing 11 fatalities in 1997 and death prevention measures are now in place including radios and loud alarms. The distance between Antelope Canyon's walls range from 3 to 10 feet wide and run anywhere up to 7 to 164 feet deep. The upper canyon sits 4,000 feet above sea level and the walls are 120 feet tall. Number 4. Batu Caves, Malaysia The Batu Caves contain a Buddhist temple created on the edge of a cliff in Myanmar and is the unassuming entrance to Kayut Se Cave. Legend has it that in the 13th century, the massive cave was originally used as a hiding place for locals who wanted to hide from the Mongols. Who needs a Stairmaster when you've got this? Number 3. Fingal's Cave, Scotland Fingal's Cave, located on an uninhabited island called Staffa, is 72 feet tall and 270 feet deep. This sea cave is a one of a kind with visually astonishing hexagonal columns made of basalt. It was formed by the cooling on the upper and lower surfaces of the solidified lava, which resulted in contraction and fracturing. This process starts to reveal a blocky tetraagonal pattern and transition to a hexagonal cracked fracture pattern. As cooling continued, these cracks gradually extended towards the center of the flow, forming the long hexagonal columns we see in the wave eroded cross section today. If you want to see this cave up and close, there are boat tours available but most boats won't go inside as there's high risk of colliding with the walls of the cave due to large ocean waves. Number 2. Son Dong Cave, Vietnam Son Dong Cave in Vietnam is the largest cave discovered on earth. It was discovered in 1991 by a local man but not fully explored until 2009. Song Dong Cave has a max depth of 490 feet and a max length of 30,000 feet. It was created by a large vertical fault in the limestone that was flooded by a river which carved its way deep under the surface for millions of years. Having limestone walls that run in nearly a straight line allows for much greater stability which is what has allowed this cave
cave to get so big. At the end of the cave lies what is called the Great Wall of Vietnam, a 200 foot muddy calcite wall. It took a second expedition in 2010 with specialized power tools and experienced climbers to get on top of it. At the top, they found the end of the cave as well as some of the largest cave pearls ever found. Number 1. Nica Mine, Mexico this incredible cave was accidentally found by the Nika Mining Company as they were drilling deep for silver, lead, and zinc. They noticed a large crystal which appeared to be made of ice, but considering the temperature inside the cave was 136 degrees Fahrenheit or 58 degrees Celsius, they knew immediately it was a large, rare crystal growth. The cave itself is 89 feet long and 99% humidity, which allows the average person to only withstand 10 minutes inside. Special refrigeration suits were constructed to be able to endure up to 30 minutes inside. The crystals found inside the cave are made of solid gypsum, which are a common mineral but only form into crystals under a constant flow of water that is rich in gypsum that is above 131 degrees Fahrenheit. These rare conditions are both present a thousand feet below the surface at the bottom of the Nika mine. Scientists have recorded the largest gypsum crystal in the cave weighing over 55 tons and took 500,000 years to create. That's roughly one millimeter every two years. The cave will only be temporarily available for exploration as they have to continually pump 16 gallons per minute of boiling hot water out of the cave. The cave is becoming weaker as the temperature is cooler without the hot water inside. This extraction of so much water has actually created a lake near the mine. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.